What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Greg. Go crazy, go crazy. We're back here with another video. Now, before you do anything, go on and press that like button for you, bro. Go on and like the video up if you are new to my channel. And press the sub button if you're new to my channel, too. And also, turn the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I drop a new video, which won't be too long. Y'all see, I've been uploading consistently almost daily. But as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, you need to hurry up and make this 6'9 point guard build. 6'9? Did I say 6'9? Yes, I did say 6'9. Now, this 6'9 point guard build is going to go crazy. Right now, you see I'm at no 6'9, lowest sweat, and I maxed out his wingspan, or oh, I put it at 7'7. Seven, seven. Now, I did get this builder because I seen grinding made it and flow. Measy, he's the original person that made this build. So, you know, I said, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. You know me, the taller I am, the better I play, you know. I like 6'9 players. I like 6'6 six, six players. 6'6 six, six is like the shortest I make all my players. I could make a short player, maybe like 6'3, but I don't really prefer it because that's just not really my play style anymore. But I like tall players. Now, as you can see, as of right now, this build gets like 16 to 17 finishing. It really depends on you and how much finishing you want. This is a... 80 plus badge count build this build does get over 80 badges in total now you see for the defense you know i mean for the finishing i mean you know he does get contact dunks like i said he does get contact dunks he gets pro contact dunks but that's all you really need you don't really need to go too crazy on the contact dunks the shooting he gets 21 shooting the playmaking he gets 21 playmaking now for the physicals I tried my best to tweak it the best way that I could. I mean, right now you see my player already at a 90 overall. And I ain't even touched the defense yet. And me, I'm a defensive person. So my defense got to be right on all my builds. I don't care what build it is. Don't care if it's the shortest build. I want all my builds I max out and play BC with. and put BC into to have defense. There is no if, no ands, or buts about it. Now, this build can get up to 29 defensive if you wanted to sacrifice something. But me, you know, I had to sacrifice some of my finishing to put a little bit more defense in my build than normal players. Now, right now, you see, I have 21 defensive badges. Now, look, I was tweaking some things, you know, moving some things around, moving some stats up. Because I was trying to, you know, make it the best version for me. Now, this is just my version of the build. Other people have made this build their way to tweak it how they want to. But this is my version of the build. If you're a defensive player and you want to be able to do mostly everything and ISO, this could be the build for you. Now, as you can see, I did put the standing dunk at a 69. I don't know if I'm going to really be using standing dunk as much. But, you know, it's nice to have it on because I'm probably going to be playing, like, point guards. If that, like, the shortest person I'm going to probably play. On the two is probably gonna be like six five six six. Now, as you can see, I'm telling you, man, it's, it says I'm almost finished. Which is now look at all the takeovers you can get. You get all the shot creating, all the lockdown, all the sharp shooting, all the rim protecting. Like you get mostly every takeover that you want on this build. Now, me, y'all already know, man. My ankle breaking shots is my takeover. That's what I do. I like to break ankles and I like to play defense. Those are the two things I want my builds to do. Especially my point guard builds. That's all I want to do. We break ankles and we play defense over here. Look, that's all we do over here. Now, as you can see, I did go back and retweak this build. Now, as you can see, I did finish it. Now, I did tweak this build, as I said. So, you probably want to keep watching. Don't, don't end the video yet. If you're still here and you're still watching, go on and press that sub button. You see, compare me to Lonzo. Penny and Lamella. This is a two way, three level score. Now, I'm telling you, man, this build is going to take over the park. 6'9 can do what he want to do. And once you learn how to dribble, because you don't really need too much dribbling badges or high dribbling to cook somebody, all you got to do is like know how to like really use what you got. And me, I know how to use what I got. Now, as you can see, I'm telling you, man, I was tweaking some things, I think. But right now, as you can see, this build at a 99 overall gets some crazy badges. 
Now he does get silver slithery. Now that's kind of like slithery finisher from 2K22. They probably changed it a little bit. Now as you can see, I did put on post spin technician. If I want to go on the post and post a little guard up, I most definitely could. I put on fearless finisher on silver. I think I was putting post horizon on bronze. I put this in my core bat so I didn't have to spend any points on it. So I could, so I can dunk on somebody if I want to. Now masher. I don't really use Masher. I ain't even really tested that out. I, I was switching things around. But you see, I did put it on Silver Area Wizard. I'm not really going to use that badge because I don't really like catching live on 2K. That's not really like my style of play. And I just throw on some other badges just to put them on for real, for real. I wasn't too really digging deep into the finishing badges. Now, the shooting badges. Like, come on. We go crazy with the shooting badges. Like, I get gold guard up. Card up, bro. It's crazy. And I can't wait to see how some of these badges actually work. I can't wait to see how Guard Up actually works. I did see how Mini Magician works on Gold. That badge is good. Slippery off ball, you know. I was just messing around, just really putting these shooting badges on. I was realizing, I was like, I really don't need Corner Special, so I didn't put it on. I get Gold Catch and Shoot. I made that my um, core badge because it's like, why not, bro? Gold Catch and Shoot, bro. On a 6-9, and you can play off the ball and point guard if you want to. Now, I put my um silver, I put on bronze, you know, green machine, so I can put on bronze, limitless range. Like, you can do everything on this build. Literally, this is a demigod. I'm telling you, bro. Like, he can do everything you want him to do. Shoot, pass, play make, and play defense, and finish at the rim with the best of them if you know how to time it. Like, come on, bro. And I throw on Agent 3 just to mess around. Now, the playmaking badges, I can't wait to get my playmaking badges because when I get some of those quests done and can add more extra badges onto it, oh my goodness. When I tell you this build gonna be nice, because the badge count, it just said right now. But if I throw some other stuff on it with some, like I said, we get them extra badge points, bro, and I can put them wherever I want to, like plus four, wherever I want to, it's over. It's a wrap, bro. It's a wrap. I get gold quick for a step on this build. Wish I could get Hall of Fame, but look, I ain't worrying about it. I do get gold unpluckable, but I get silver or I get bronze and silver handles for days. Now, I think I put it on silver. Yeah, I put it on silver because I ain't really going to be dribbling too much. I was looking at Vice Grip. I don't really think I'm going to really need that because not too many people going to start ripping once a game come out. But I don't know. I have to see. But like I said, we do get extra badge points when we do hit certain reps and... Yeah, when we do hit certain levels in 2K23, I think it's level 39 every season. You get an extra badge in each category. But now let's get into the defense, the best part about this build. I get silver glove. That means it's cookies in the milk all day. If I reach, it should be a steal for me, If unless you got better ball handling than me. Now, other than that, it's cookies and milk all day, every day. I get gold challenger. Shoot that shot if you want to. It's not happening. I'm 6'9", with basically almost gold clamps. Not happening, bro. I get bronze rebound chaser, and I'm 6'9". I'm going to definitely get the rebound over them. And I get I put on silver workers. I get silver interceptor, and I can get Hall of Fame minutes. Do you know I have gold challenger, Hall of Fame minutes, and silver glove, bro? And if I get enough badges, I can put on a bronze pogo stick. I said, demigod. I'm telling you, man, you need to hurry up and make this big. But yeah, man, that's really it for this video, man. I'm telling you, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're new, man. And I'm out. Peace.